we face the greatest challenge we have ever experienced. 2019 was the driest year in Australia's recent history and the second hottest. Wildfires devastated millions of hectares and our country experienced droughts and floods. Change is happening. Are we going to be part of taking action to stop it? We're at the Australian Institute of Marine Science to look at the National Sea Simulator. The Sea Simulator is one of the most advanced and sophisticated experimental aquaria in the world. One of our really big focuses at the moment is on that reef restoration concept. And what we're trying to do is harness those baby corals, actually get them to settle on little um, calcium carbonate discs so that we can actually reseed some of the degraded reefs with those baby corals. What is the Great Barrier Reef? How would you describe it oh, to someone? That's a wonderful question. I would describe the Great Barrier Reef as the most incredibly biodiverse and complex ecosystem that is just so important for our Australian identity. What does climate change mean for the reef? Why is it important? There's a number of um, impacts that happen on the reef associated with climate change. Probably the two of greatest concerns are that our ocean temperatures are rising. Cyclones are becoming more intense, which causes damage to the reef. But really that ocean warming yeah. is the, the single factor that's caused so much damage to the reef yeah. over the last few years. What needs to be done? We need to get our carbon emissions under control. Mm -hmm. We need to limit the amount of warming that's going to happen to below 1.5 degrees, mm -hmm. really. And what we're doing here um, at the Australian Institute of Marine Science is we're undertaking a lot of research to, uh, in the area of coral aquaculture to see if we can produce at scale enough hardy corals to be able to reseed some of the degraded areas. The Great Barrier Reef really is a symbol of the health of the planet and it's a great reminder that we're part of nature. If nature goes down, we go down with it. These are just some of the problems we're facing. Thankfully, for so many of them, we have the solutions at our fingertips. Investing in energy efficiency in cities and in industrial, agricultural and fisheries processes. Investing in clean energy and replacing fossil fuels to stop global warming and save the Great Barrier Reef. We can value the world we depend on. We can push for a green recovery to make these measures become a reality, creating societies more resilient and more able to deal with change. <laughs>